Okay, here we go again. Let's get ready to go back to base real quick. And then, oh, look how beautiful our base looks on the map, by the way. And begin to organize. I need to feed my character. I just realized that. Oh, I have two bad things now. Um, remind yourself to always feed your character. You might notice where I'm kind of slacking on that a little bit. Don't feel like you need to, you know follow when I'm eating in the game because obviously like if your character is hungry you might want to eat too but remember like I said there's not really that much of a death uh, penalty in this and when you when I finally do die in the game you will see like how it works and how all you have to do is just go back and get your body so it's like as long as you can find your your little uh your little tombstone when you die you're fine I guess I could probably show you around here but that's okay I'm not going to do that because I don't feel like I want to die just yet in the game okay so let's organize our stuff let's start smelting some things i'm not in a rush to get any of these things we got a lively little egg uh let's quick stack some things just by pressing q did i find any items i found this one it says max hp plus four armor oh this is like peasant armor so i mean anything is better than that look how cool we look now too um let's put some of these things in here because i'm not going to be using it and then of course um, do I want to use this or I feel like I should just use this because honestly, why would I use the other thing or this stuff? Some of this junk in here. We got to put our food away. Boom, 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 boom. We have a golden heart says, uh, so we want to, we want to try cooking with some of the stuff in the, in the future. Not at the moment just yet. I feel like we don't need it. These bombs I'm going to keep for now. Um, I want to show you guys what they do and how cool they are. Probably keep some dirt down here in our inventory. Let's save some bread so we can eat it. The wood I'll keep on me too. The wooden hoe, I don't think I really need to keep it in here. I'll keep this stuff down here because if I lose it, it's not a big deal. The slime I want to keep and then the egg we want to try doing something with. So let's repair some of those things on a repair station. Ba-boom those over there and did i not have any slime like just left over i thought i would have had some slime at least a little bit of it anyways it's fine it's fine for some slime and then uh put some of this in here i guess i could smelt it we don't really need any tin yet what do i need for a tin workbench i need uh, 10 so i got it there and i have five so that's enough to make that if i need to and the egg so what do i need to make the incubator it's a copper and glass so i need to get a glass station glass smelter so five copper so we need all the copper we're gonna make a little glass table and then we can do this and so i'm guessing we're gonna need sand most likely if i remember correctly that's probably what you do right put sand in there get some do i have any extra sand left over sand block i mean this is what i'm guessing anyways yes of course that's pretty 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 self-explanatory. Okay, so now we're gonna turn sand, or sorry, yeah, we're gonna turn sand into glass, and then from there, we only need eight of them to make the egg incubator to get a mysterious feathered egg. Oh, a mysterious feathered egg that seems to be reacting to your presence. Okay, if you haven't seen these before, these are obviously pets. You can get them by hatching, but we won't spoil that until it happens. So we're, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna incub or incubate. It's gonna go through a process pretty quickly. So just in about a few seconds, we should have a decent amount. Maybe I'll start cooking a little bit. Put this stuff back. Uh, put the, get the egg ready. Uh, toss the egg. Set the incubator when we're done. We have lots of copper. I definitely don't need anything right now for copper, I don't think. But let's start making some stuff. So what do we got? We got some mushrooms. We have some heart berries. We have some gloat things. Let's start mixing and matching these together. Make some cool little things. I could even make another... Rockpot if I really want to. Probably should do that, eh? Do I have some dirt blocks on me? Just make one. I mean, why not? Let's I we're here anyways. Okay, so we want to go like this. And I need copper bars. So boom, boom, boom. Make one of these. Put this back. Wait. New talent for available for crafting. Oh yeah, sorry. I gotta keep an eye on these things. Okay, there we go. There we go. And what the heck are you doing in here? It's like a little slime walking into my base. And this is what I'm saying why it's always going to be really cool when you finally get a chance to make a little slime farm. So slime will eventually wander into your base and eventually other things will too. Okay, so we have some slime here. And what do we make from this? We made a glowing berry pudding. And every time you add a different variation of food, you're going to get different things. So we got 19 food plus mana, plus HP for 10 minutes. Like the, the difference is when you, the more things you add into the combination, you're going to get cooler stuff from it. So that's why it's really important to kind of like master the art of cooking. Now let's leave all the mushrooms in here 
for now. I don't need anything else from it. Got these though. Why not? I could leave the caveling bread. Um, might as well eat the caveling bread because like there's only one of them. Got the egg. Put our little slime in the slime factory, and then get this. I don't need to smelt all the sand, but we're gonna get so much more sand that I think glass is pretty cool. So might as well just use it. Okay, let's swap back over to here. We need our copper out of here. Grab our little incubator. Put our incubator right there. And I almost put the bomb in there. <laughs> and then, uh, yes, we need power. Oh no, I completely forgot about all this. Okay, we got railway system. Let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Do we have an, oh man, I got lots of slime just wandering in here. Oh, I got a key. Heck yeah. Okay, so this is the rusty little key. So which one should we open up? The left or the right? Let's go with the left one. This one looks lucky. And we got pants and a bunch of stuff. And I can use these chests now, and they are very different than the other ones. So we got the same pants that I already had, and I got a bunch of ancient coins. Ancient coins will be eventually used down the road for uh, random stuff. And so for now, eh, it was an okay chest. You know, not not, not too shabby. Um, let's put the glass away and we're going to need to get some, we're going to need to get some other things because we need to power this up. So we need to make an electric table or something. I believe railway electronics table. So we need our copper and we can now make that and I can put this somewhere a little bit further away. So electric generator, I make that and I should be able to put it right next to it, I think, right? Yeah, there we go. So the generator will kind of feed um, and go from there. I don't know how long it takes for this this incubated egg to, to hatch or whatever, but I'm sure it'll go over pretty quickly. Cooked lively egg, okay. So anyways, yeah, and then from there you can kind of make little systems. So if we go over to our electronics table, you can see that there's like a logic circuit. You can hide those under the ground so you're not gonna be able to see them on the ground and then you can kind of feed into other things. So as time goes on, we're gonna be doing more and more and more of this stuff. So stay tuned for that. Unfortunately, I did block off my access to the chest really easily, but that's okay. So there you go. So that's how you get yourself a little tiny little egg starting to incubate. You got a little crafting for your little table. You have a little switch if you want to turn things off, electric wire. All that stuff will be showed pretty soon. And of course, I haven't dabbled much with electricity in Core Keeper in a while. So hopefully, um, you know, as time goes on, I'll show you as much as I can. We still have the smelter going for all of the awesome little glass. Now, the panes of glass are even cooler too because I think, can we place them on the wall? I forget. Maybe we can put glass on like walls or something, or maybe we can make glass pieces. I think if we, do we put them in here? No, um, for some reason, I think we can make glass panes with them or a glass work bench. This workbench makes it possible to glass into more advanced tools. Oh, there we go. So let's just do this real quick while we're still here. So I'll put this down here and yes, look, now I can make glass flooring, the glass bridges, all the cool glass stuff. So more and more and more things you can do with glass in Core Keeper. Oops, I accidentally double stacked all that stuff. So there you go. So now we can do that. Let's repair our item real quick that we, for some reason, busted. Repair our staff while we're here because we have lots of scrap parts and we're going to be getting more and more and more of them. And look, it is slowly working as the incubator is indicating that it's working and working its way down. And then eventually we can hatch that little bird and use it as a little friend. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.